Hi, Tom here. In this week's Circle Line Art School drawing, I'll show you one way to draw some basic shapes, starting with a wireframe drawing, and then we could add some shading. The first step is to draw an ellipse, a circle seen from its side from an angle, for the base of a cylinder. Next, draw two vertical lines for the sides of the cylinder of equal height. Now we can draw a horizontal and vertical guideline on the ellipse to find its center. And then from this center point, we can draw a vertical guideline, which will help create a sense of symmetry in the ellipse at the top of the cylinder. Next, draw a new ellipse at the top using this central guideline so that the ellipse at the top fits with the ellipse at the base of the cylinder. Next, we can draw a diamond for the base of a cube. Make sure the left point of the diamond is in front of the right side of the cylinder so that the shapes will overlap. Overlapping shapes generally look more solid in a drawing and to have a stronger sense of space in between them creates a stronger sense of space, so we should use that. Now draw three vertical lines of the same height from three of the points of the diamond. Next, draw two of the nearest sides of the top of the cube, making sure that these diagonal lines are parallel to the diagonal lines below them. Next, we can draw a fourth vertical line, the same height as the other three vertical lines that we just drew, and then draw the back two sides of the cube, again, making sure that they're parallel to the lines directly below them. Now we have a wireframe drawing, a drawing that you can see through the shapes because they look like they're made from wire. Next, we can draw a circle. One way to draw a circle is to draw a cross first with equal lengths. And then we can draw the four quarters of a circle using the cross as a guide. Then we can check the circle is okay and that it's symmetrical. Take your time to draw the circle and remember that we're actually drawing a sphere, a 3D circle. A sphere and a circle look identical as a line drawing, but when we add shading, it will look more solid. Also, try and think about how much space there will be around the circle that we're drawing so that it can become a sphere, so it's got a space behind it and to the sides of it and it's not too close to the other objects in the drawing, and then it will look more realistic. That's one of the reasons to draw wireframe drawing, because then we can see how each object relates to the other objects that are depicted, and how the space between them works as well. Next we can draw a cone, a 3D shape, with a circular base that has two sides that go to a point at the top. Start by drawing an ellipse. The right hand side of the ellipse will be in front of the left hand side of the cylinder, so that the two shapes will overlap. Once you have an ellipse that works, draw a cross at its base as a guideline, and then draw another vertical guideline, and stop drawing the vertical guideline when it reaches the height that you want the cone to be. And at that point, draw two sides of the cone from the base of the ellipse to the top pinnacle point of the cone. Now 
Now we have a simple drawing of four three-dimensional shapes using a wireframe technique so that we can see the back and the front of all of the shapes and also we can see the base of all of the shapes so that we know that there is space in between the bases of the shapes and they could sort of exist properly in three-dimensional space because there's space for the bases of them. You could draw a horizontal line behind all the objects which will make them seem like they're closer towards us because the, any horizontal line always generally looks like it's further away than other shapes. And then we could erase the parts of the wireframe drawing that we no longer need. So we have a clear outline of the four shapes that are three-dimensional. And next it's time to add some shading. For this drawing, I use a 4B pencil. Any soft pencil will work well. And I'm gonna shade the right-hand side because the light source is going to be coming from the left-hand side of the image. If you'd like to learn more about how to draw from scratch, please subscribe to my YouTube channel to keep up to date with all of the content that I make. I post a new drawing every week. If you're interested in joining my online drawing course for beginners, please visit my website, circlelineartschool.com, where you'll find full details of all my drawing courses. Next up, see the drawing unfold so that you can follow along with the shading. Using the side of a soft pencil, soft dark pencil, and taking time to create flat tones on the surfaces that are flat and graded tones on the surfaces which are curved.
Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it useful for your own drawings. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel to keep up to date and visit my website if you're interested in the online drawing courses that I have. Thanks for watching and see you next time.